Hello, hi everyone. Welcome you all to this interesting series of 30 days 30 interview challenge where we're going to prepare you for all the data analytics and data science interviews. And today is the day 25 of this challenge. Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss what are the different types of activation function. What are different types of activation functions? Now, this is a slightly more advanced topic, but yeah, questions have been asked, questions are asked from these topics that what are different types of activation functions. So we'll discuss them now, right? So first activation function that is, so what is activation function? First activation function is a function that helps me to introduce non-linearity in my data. So if I need non-linearity in my data, I use something called as activation function in the case of neural networks. So first activation function that we are going to discuss is tanh. So tanh is our activation function which helps in introducing non-linearity. Right. The second activation function that is very popular that is called as rectified linear unit RELU, RELU, RELU. The third activation function that we generally study is called as sigmoid. Sigmoid activation function is generally used for a binary classification problem. Always in the final output layer. Final output layer ki neurons may be used this sigmoid activation function. The fourth one is called as soft max, which is used when we have a multi classification problem. So when we have multiple class uh, categories at the end of the final output, so we use this type of softmax uh, kind of activation function. The last but not the least very important uh, activation function, okay, is called as leaky relu. Leaky relu. Now what is leaky relu? Leaky relu is basically a type of a rectified linear unit only, but the only difference between relu and leaky relu is that for x less than zero, your relu becomes zero. For x less than zero, if you have any value less than zero, leaky relu does not become zero. It has some slope. It has some gradient. So that is the only difference between relu and leaky relu. The most popular ones are either relu or leaky relu. For binary classification problem, at the final output, we use sigmoid. For multi classification problems, we use softmax. I hope you got an idea. What are the different types of activation function? We'll move in the next video. Till then, have a great day. Thank you. Follow Cloudy ML for day 26.